just came back from the uh, Sephora private uh, event. They call it Beauty Before Brunch. Um, and basically they close down the store and it's just for VIB Rouge members and their guests. So you get this one-on-one -on -one kind of uh, service, I guess. So it makes you feel a little bit more special. And it's basically at 9 to 11 at, um, I guess, all of their stores. I mean, I'm from Canada, so I went to a store that was the closest to me, which was in downtown. Um, and yeah, and I obviously bought a bunch of things and I wanted to show you guys. Basically, when I walked in, they gave me two little pamphlets right here. Uh, one that basically describes what this event is all about and what do you get out of it. So what do I basically get out of it is 15% off on any of the items that I buy and also a foldable uh, makeup bag with some samples inside. And they were also nice enough to give us a complimentary brow tint um, from their brow bar, basically. Uh, I've never done a brow tint before, so I don't know how that's gonna turn out for me, and I didn't have time to do it today, but it doesn't expire until May 31st of this year, so I thought that was really nice. Um, and of course, this pamphlet right here just talks to us about the different types of workshops that they were having throughout the store. So you get to learn about contouring, mask and moisturize, and polishing your brows. I didn't have a chance to go to uh, attend them either because I was a little busy going around swatching stuff and trying things on because, I mean, as much as I went onto the Sephora website beforehand and checked out the things I wanted, I still wanted to, you know, be able to feel some of the stuff. Um, anyhow, let me get started on what I bought. So I bought the Formula X. Uh, this is the match. These are basically really tiny nail polishes that they have, um, each being, I think, three milliliters. Uh, they come in three different sets. Um, this one is the fair to light skin tone. So I really like these three, and I already have this one. I really like it. So I thought, you know what? This is perfect to keep in my purse. You know, last minute I decided I'm bored. Let's go do my nails or something like that. Perfect. And I'm not a person that finish my nail polishes anyway, so why not, you know, get something small and actually be able to try out different ones? So there's that. Um, I bought the Sephora Get Into Shape Contour Brow Kits. This was then actually something I wanted to get. Um, I wanted to get the Anastasia one, but my friend picked it up and I felt, oh, this looked like a better deal than the Anastasia one. So basically for four items right here, you get it for $23 and you get to pick your own shade of, uh, this one is the Retractable Brow Pencil, which is waterproof. That's always nice. I got mine in 04 Midnight Brown. Um, and of course it comes with a brow gel, a tweezer, and basically a tool that's a spoilie and a brush on one side. So there's that. I also bought the Smashbox Try It Kit, which comes with the eyeshadow, the eyeshadow primer, mascara, and foundation primer. I've been eyeing on this for some time, so I thought, you know, this is a good opportunity to try it out because it was $22 and I get 15% off, right? What else do I have here? Oh, I have the Clinique um, Acne Solution Clinical Clear uh, Clearing Gel. So I've used this before and um, I really do like it. They changed the package on me. Um, this is the smaller one, which is $20. The bigger one is $30. So the package, instead of a tube right now, it's it, it looks like this. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I still enjoy using something like this anyhow. Um, it's small enough to just be kept in my purse, so no problem with me. I like it how when you use it, you just need to spot it, and the next day, it's pretty much gone. Um, I, of course, bought lippies. One of them would be the Too Faced uh, Color Drenched Lip Cream in Spice Spice Baby. This was literally splurge of the moment because I went up to it and I swatched it and I was like, hey, this is really nice. This one was $26, so I was like, oh, okay, not too bad. So it looks like that, and let me give you a nice swatch. It felt very creamy on my hands, and I really like the color because it's very natural. It's something I can use on a day-to-day -day basis versus just use it for... I don't know, like a full face makeup or when I'm going out or something like that. I prefer getting lipstick now that I can use on a day-to-day -day basis. And my other big splurge is the Marc Jacobs um, La Mac La Cre uh, Lip Creme. 
This one is $38. Um, and I got mine in, I think this one is in 228 Infamous. So I've been eyeing on this one. The packaging looks like that. Um, I've been eyeing on it for some time actually. And I was thinking, well, I'll wait till a sale because it's not cheap. Let me give you a nice swatch. Really, really bold, um, kind of reddish kind of color. Um, I would say it's a nice color to, you know, take with me if I want something more bold. But yeah, um, those are all the items I got. And of course, during checkout, I was able to get some more samples. So they did mention that we get a foldable um, makeup bag. So that's what I got. And of course, there was samples inside. Uh, this is not much of a sample, but uh, Formula X nail polish, basically. And I got this in Quantum. It's a greenish puke kind of looking color, I guess. <laughs> I don't know how to describe this. I wouldn't say puke. That's that's a too harsh of a word, but um, a green kind of color. Pale, pale green is what I'm looking at. Yeah. I got a sample of the Benefit um, Puff Off. I've been meaning to try this, so you know what? Great that I got a sample. Um, I also got some shampoo and conditioner sample from this brand that I've never heard of. I also got a sample of Buxton's Lip Gloss in Pink Lady. I also got a, what do you call this, Nude Omega Treatment Milk. Never heard of this brand before, so that'd be interesting to try out. I also got a Shiseido uh, foil sample of the Power Infusing Concentrate. And I also got this um, Marc Jacobs Daisy uh, perfume. And the lady at the, uh, at the cash register also gave me um, some samples of this Shiseido Bio Performance. Um, I believe I got like two foil samples from this. So I thought, oh, that was really nice of her. Anyhow, that's basically my haul video and my little experience that I had with the private sale. If you guys got anything different, like even from the sample bag or, you know, that you bought at the sale, uh, comment down below and let me know about it. And of course, if you like any of the products that I mentioned, feel free to give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for now.